Several of the designers of taxi apps in China are now trying to expand their service to include luxury private car service. Many taxi companies say it isn't legal to use private cars that way, and some cabbies have gone on strike across the country to protest the illegal competition. This week, my colleague He Jian talked to Tang Yijun, a partner at Albright Law Offices, about a recent crackdown on the services and their long-term prospects. So you think this is the right timing or the good time to crack down on those illegal cabs? I don't think it's right time. I think it's too late because these type of、uh, APP they already have a lot of loyal consumer. Those online taxi booking platforms、mm. they don't have the license to operate、uh, transit vehicles here in China. Correct,、uh, correct. But I mean, you know. Okay, they don't have the license, but so this is the only solution for government to shut down them. I don't think so. And, and also, one other thing is that、uh, you can you can also choose to be a private taxi driver,、mm -hmm. but you need a license plate, and that license plate costs about half a million yuan. Is that the major reason that people they would prefer to go to those gray areas because they they don't really have to pay such a lot of money so that they can play,、uh, so they can they can earn money from taxi. Operation. Yeah, I think of course this is the reason. Because in China, to get a license for running a car, you need to pay half million. Okay,、uh, I'm a business owner. I apply a lot of license. Of course, I want this money to be repaid very soon. So I'm going to ask my driver to pay me every day. So I think ultimately the government should think it over.、Um, honestly, you should reduce the you know the license fee. You should get a market. Open to all the qualified service provider. What about in other parts of the world? Because as you just mentioned, taxi booking apps like Uber they exist everywhere in the world. In big cities, in Australia, in the United States, in big cities, especially in New York, in Sydney. Because I'm the user of Uber, I, I'm a little bit interested for their business, you know, model. And I also heard that recently, the Uber,、uh, the value of Uber is assessed as 40 billion US dollar, very significant. But in the meantime, it is challenged in a different area. But Uh, the the chief safety officer of Uber Global sometimes he said that no technology can entirely stop the criminal offense. So, as I said, yes, maybe it is against the local system, it is against the local、uh, law. But、uh, for the governor,、uh, the first option is to find some way, find some solution to make the business type more valid. Ask them to legalize their business type. This is the way. You know how you manage the market. As you mentioned in the very beginning, that、mm -hmm. those private cars using as taxis, it is illegal. And do they have a point?、Um, I give them a solution to buy the insurance. They can buy some big insurance to give the you know protection to all the user for their、uh, for their car. So I think this is going to be the solution. So、uh, according to your observation,、uh -huh. most of the drivers or the illegal drivers, they are still in the business. Correct. Correct, but the risk is quite high. You're going to be fined about twenty to thirty thousand RMB if you get caught, and the crackdown is ongoing. Once I talk with a driver and I ask him how much you you earned last night, it's Friday night, and he said, from Friday night six p.m. till two p.m. in morning, he got three thousand RMB by driving for Uber. So you see, the interest, the income is quite significant. And compare with the fine. Yes, the fine. You know, according to our law, if you are you investigate for this kind of you know commitment, you will be fined like twenty thousand to thirty thousand. But、uh, I think probably most people they think it deserves to be there. So you are quite optimistic about the prospect for taxi booking apps, right? Sure. So you think the government will make a compromise? I think the government they really want to spend some time to study on it to. Be patient to issue any decision. So, according to your estimation, when will the fair market come? I mean, as you just as you put it, the qualified、uh, service providers in the taxi industry can、uh, can choose to be a part of it. Maybe in the meantime, the government will allow those, you know, new business type like Uber, like Didi, to survive. But on the other hand, they charge them sure heavy tax. Probably, yeah, I agree. Probably. This gonna be the solution, final solution. But this gonna affect the business model sure, for sure. Uber. Yeah, reduce their profit. Their running cost will be very high. So it's need to find a balance, you know, balance point. So let's see, you know, whether the government will destroy them or, you know, will grow them up. You know, let's see.